So Tim Henman, important now just to keep holding his own serve. You'd think that two sets to love up, Henman would be on his way. Todd Martin, these last two games, both on return and serve, has been very keen to get to the net, serve volleying most of the points in the last game. What's Martin got to do, Wally, to get back into this? Well, I, I just think by the way he rushed the net in the last two games, it just seems to me that he's a little concerned uh, dealing with Henman from the back of the court. Looks like he wants to try and rush him a bit, upset his rhythm, the good momentum that he's got going at the moment. Just a little bit too cute from Tim Henman. Well, he really had Todd on the run here. Todd does well to get this back, but hard court, it's a, uh, you'll see there, that ball bounced well above waist height. It's a, it's a difficult surface to drop shot well on. Martin's definitely going for more off that return. He really wants to try and force the issue now. Todd Martin always seems to be a very cool customer to me. He just looks at the last few games, he's, he's just looked a bit panicked, if anything. I have a feeling that sh return of Martin's may have skipped off the service line, shot through. The lines are always a different paint and can be quite quick. Third double fault, first in this set, 15-40, Todd Martin has break point. Nowhere, Todd Martin breaks him and serve. <laughs> Levels it at two all. Well, that might have been that little concentration lap that David Felgate alluded to. Henman's ad there, he missed a short forehand and then served a double fault. And at this level, you can pay dearly for those sort of mistakes. I think that was so impressive about Tim in his earlier rounds that even though he did have these 
very minuscule lapses of concentration. He always got it straight back. 82 again right now. Although you probably have to say that maybe Martin's game has gone up by 10, 15% from what he was playing at. Well, he's a pretty seasoned old pro now, Todd Martin. He was in a lot of trouble. Switched his attack now, serving and volleying virtually on every point. Ball. Four. Four. Martin's game has gone up a gear. Henman's just slightly fallen off, but it's enough. Martin leads 3 2, second set. Well, Todd Martin finding a bit of inspiration from somewhere the last couple of games. That was his first love game on his serve. And now Tim Henman really needs to reassert himself on this set. He's been playing flawless tennis up until now. 30 Just Just seems to be a little bit conscious. Uh, in his play at the moment, he was hitting the ball so freely in the first set. Maybe he's just become aware of the scoreline. like he did in the penultimate game. Todd Martin comes back from 15.40 to break point. Good thinking from Henman. Knows Martin's elbow is bad, hooks up a lob, but it just wasn't good enough. Break point. 
Oh, yes. Well, here's a pretty cool head on a break point. Sometimes not always easy to have the best touch in tight situations. Just took all the pace off that perfectly. Back to Juice. Okay. Well played, Hemman. Survived a break point in that game. Levels at three all. They were tight moments, weren't they, Wally? Didn't need to do exactly the same 